What's up everybody, it's Daniel here with Mobile Syrup and we are looking at the Oxygen OS update for the OnePlus One, that venerable cheap device that everybody loves. Um, coming at you with an, uh, an HTC One M9, so we're also checking out the video quality here and the audio quality, so this is a dual review, if you will. Uh, so first of all, the update process, fairly straightforward. You have to know a little bit oh, uh, a little bit about kind of installing custom ROMs on here. So you have to install uh, a custom re uh, recovery, and then you have to flash the zip file, and it will delete all of your data except for that installed in your SD card. So keep that in mind, you will have to reinstall all of your apps. Now, when you get in here, you'll see that this is a fairly stock Android Lollipop experience. It's actually the most stock Android experience that I've found outside of, say, a Nexus phone. Now, I'm going to uh, go over the sort of value add features here, but there aren't that many. So you can see this is Oxygen OS 1, Android 5.0.2. Uh, the build was actually yesterday, Friday, April 3rd. And uh, that was, uh, you know, quite interesting because I woke up on Saturday morning and, hey, it's available. So they really have been busting their asses trying to get this out there. Now, first of all, you can see that I'm using the stock lollipop on-screen buttons. But as you know, with the OnePlus One, you have the option of turning those off. Now, if I turn them off, you'll see uh, while the buttons themselves don't light up yet, I think that's a problem with the kernel that will need to be fixed in a future update. But they do work, and you can see here that uh, you can actually set long press or double tap actions for some of the buttons. Now, the home and menu button you can customize, whereas the back button, which is on the right here, similar placement to Samsung, you cannot. So what you can do is, um, because the, the device launched with uh, KitKat, um, the button used to be a menu button, which is no longer useful because every app that you see uses the on-screen menu button. So now it defaults to a multitasking button like most Android phones. What you can do though is you can actually change that up. So if you do want to use it as a menu button, uh, you know, you can if you want, but generally uh, you want to just use it uh, for a menu button as a long press. Um, now you can also uh, change the default double tap action for the home button. I like the same thing that the Samsung Galaxy S6 has as just a quick uh, double tap to get into the camera app. Now, you can see here that this is the default Google camera app. Uh, this does not have any CyanogenMod software on it. So obviously, because it's not CyanogenMod, it's not facil it's not affiliated with it. So none of those features like uh, the uh, Next Gallery or the customized Cyanogen camera app are pre-installed here. Uh, that may change in the future when, when um, when Oxygen starts creating their own third-party apps, obviously it won't be Cyanogen apps, but it'll be their own variations on it. But right now we have pretty much stock Google services here. So you'll see the home screen comes like this. It has a never settle background. It also has a bunch of Google folders and uh, all of those apps are pre-installed as well as the camera. So you'll, you're getting pretty much a Nexus experience here. Uh, the other thing that you'll want to note is that it comes with its own file browser. I don't know if that's important. I don't think it is, but it's uh, interesting that it taps right into your Google Docs account if you wanted to. Now, all of the icons themselves are taken straight out of stock Android. Basically, this is running the Google Now launcher, so you have access to Google Now by uh, swiping to the left, and you can get rid of notifications super easily, um, which is nice as well. So the other thing that, you all, that you'll that you want to notice is that the quick settings menu is customizable. So unlike on stock Android, you can hide or uh, reveal certain options and you can also move icons around if you want quicker access to them. So uh, you can see that uh, I can hide invert colors because I'm probably never going to want them and uh, you can set them back to default if you want and then you're good to go. So I haven't had a lot of time to play with this yet. Uh, I have to apologize for the uh, exposure problems on this camera. Talk to HTC about that. But I haven't had a lot of time to play with it, so I don't know the battery. Uh, but I've been using it quite extensively, and everything seems to be working pretty fu pretty fast and, and, and really nicely. Uh, there's been no 
stability problems that I can see. So overall, if you're looking for a pretty stock, quick lollipop experience on your OnePlus One, this is about as good as you're going to get if you don't want to wait for Cyanogen Mod 12. And even though it's supposed to come soon, we don't really know when it's going to show up. There have been a few um, sort of uh, there have been a few conspiracy theories saying that that Cyanogen Mod was asked to delay its uh, Cyanogen Mod 12 update to get oxygen out there quicker. I don't know what that uh, really means. The other thing that uh, I, I forgot to mention is that there are some gestures still available here. So, uh, for example, you can double tap to turn on the screen. That's normal. You can also uh, s create a circle on the home screen to get right into the camera app. And you can also draw a V to turn on the flashlight. So that's nice and convenient. And uh, you can see that uh, those are still from uh, the stock OnePlus experience. So this has been a quick overview of the OnePlus One running on Oxygen OS, which is the sort of homebrew lollipop version that's created, uh, that, that was created by uh, a few custom ROM uh, I guess, uh, wizards who were hired by OnePlus to create this. So, so far, so good. Uh, we're hoping to see some more features very soon. But until then, uh, check out mobilesyrup.com for all of your OnePlus updates. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you soon.